Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome once again to 5 Minutes with Phil. It is Thursday, and we are going through yet another week, and we are continuing to go through uh, Luke chapter 19. We are looking at the story of when a tax collector named Zacchaeus had an encounter, a life-changing encounter, with the Lord. And uh, this story speaks to us pretty pretty strongly here today, and I want to read again in Luke 19, and today we're going to go through verse 4. So chapter 19 of Luke, verses 1, 2, 3, and 4, follow along in the screen. Here's what it says. It says this, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was the chief tax collector, and he was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So, look at verse 4. So he ran ahead, and he climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. Now, again, some of us have grown up in church. We've heard this story before, uh, but I, I, I don't want to take away from a, a pretty powerful point here, and, and, and that is this. Um, first of all, Zacchaeus was not perfect. Uh, we're going we're gonna to find out that uh, he had to make some things right after he uh, encountered Jesus. But before, before all that happened, um, Zacchaeus did everything that he could do to get as close as he could to Jesus as possible. Mm. Let me say that again. Jesus was going through Jer Jericho, and Zacchaeus did everything that he could do to get as close to Jesus, to have as good of a view of Jesus as possible. Wow. You know, I... I've been serving Jesus for a long time, and um, if if I'm not careful, uh, I, I I I can lose some of the newness in my relationship with Him. I, I can lose some of the freshness in my relationship with with Jesus. I can lose that, and. Sometimes I have to find myself doing everything I can to get as close to Jesus as possible. Here's how that might look like for me and you. Um, for Zacchaeus, he climbed a tree. Okay, But for me and you, uh, maybe it's a matter of trying to read the Bible for ourselves every single day. See, well, Pastor, I don't even know where to start. You know what? If you go to the book of Proverbs and read one proverb a day uh, and, and synchronize it with the day of the, the date on the calendar, day of the week, uh, there's 31 chapters in Proverbs. You can get through the book of Proverbs in a month, for example. That, that, reading all of that wisdom in the book of Proverbs, that could make a huge difference in your life. Um, maybe it's uh, you know maybe it's a matter of uh, Maybe turning down the radio on your trip to work or your trip to school and maybe just using that time just to talk to the Lord and, and pray and just tell him what's on your heart. These don't seem like really monumental things that you would have to do differently. And, and I'm going to be straight with you. Climbing a tree, that, that was nothing monumental. It just seemed to be the right thing for Zacchaeus to do. Could it be that maybe there could be some small changes that could make an enormous difference in our life? He's only a tree climb away. He's only a, an earlier wake-up time. He's only a different commute. He's only... 
an extra few minutes a day, but that can make a big difference. So I want to challenge you, do everything that you can to get as close to Jesus as possible. All right? Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.